let's learn how to easily apply halftone textures to t-shirt designs using Kittle. All right, the first thing we're gonna do is find a t-shirt template. Now we have so many amazing ones in a variety of different styles. I'm gonna go for retro. This one right here is amazing, do it for love. Already have some amazing retro color palettes going on here. Amazing icon mascot there. I'm gonna go ahead and heart and bookmark that and then click use this design. Now over here in the left, we have this textures panel with a ton of amazing textures like grunge. If I click on that, you can see that, or if I click paper or pattern or anything else. But if we scroll down in the textures panel, boom, here are half tones. And then we can easily go over here and apply a different filter, a different blending mode to it. And we can lower or raise the opacity to intensify the effect and also clip the content so that it only applies to the design, not the entire artboard. Then we can switch back and forth between the blending modes to figure out which one we want and which one is going to work best. So what I'm going to do is play with this for just a second and go through a couple of different halftones. They will do different things and affect different parts of the design. Some of them are even, some of them are heavier in one place. If I zoom in here, you can see how each filter, each blending mode affects the design with the textured overlay there. So I'm going to just choose one I think fits this design best. I really like how this one is slightly heavier in certain sections like on the left and a little bit lighter on the right. I think that makes for a really cool effect and kind of sells the overall retro vibe. So let's go ahead and click mock up here in the top right. We can even go ahead and just see what this looks like on a shirt. I'll size it up and zoom in here real quick with the plus button and look how awesome that looks. It definitely sells the retro vibe. I'll put it on a hoodie right here. You can see the same thing there. Now I wanna show you one cool thing that happens when we apply the alpha mask. So what the alpha mask blending mode does is essentially start erasing the texture from the design so that the background comes through. So right now it's on yellow, so you can see some of that yellow coming through, but if I were to change that color, it would be something else coming through. So if I show you here on the shirt and I zoom in, you can get an even more retro vintage effect that gives it that super weathered vibe. So you see how some of the yellow is coming through, which is the shirt coming through. That is a super neat way to get even more retro effects. So that's how you easily apply the halftones to t-shirts using Kittle. Now, if you wanna see other tutorials using Kittle, I have these videos here on my right that I know you're gonna enjoy. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any upcoming videos and features and things like that. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.